what is up guys welcome back to another video and i know this isn't really the full type of experience that uh you guys are used to when it comes to my linux videos but this is the first look at system 76's rust based desktop environment and this is my first look now they're gonna try to of course plug in their own crap but who cares um, developer, I don't know how to say that, went hands-on with early development versions of several cosmic components and written about his findings. Okay. Uh, maybe I should click that. Let's try this. So, in case you don't know the gist of it, um, Gnome screwed up and sent a broken, outdated package or something uh, up Ubuntu repos, uh, and as Ubuntu doesn't really update very often, they weren't affected, so they didn't have the same issue that System76 or Pop! OS did, where if you installed Steam, the entire desktop environment would not install itself, and hence the Linus Tech Tips video. The guy doesn't know anything about Linux anyway, so he was doomed to fail, period. He was just set up for failure. But ever since then... System76 switched to their own repos, so they're no longer using the open two repos. They also are switching to a Rust-based desktop environment, and that's what this is all about. Uh, yeah, developing a new desktop environment based on Rust. Uh, again, it's going to be called Cosmic, so yada yada yada, it's a disclaimer. And this is still a work in progress screenshot, so here we go. You can tell the difference. On the right hand side is GNOME. And on the left-hand side is the new desktop environment that they got currently building. Now, a few components are already written up and are probably able to be tested, but, uh, yeah. So far, I hate the aesthetic, okay? It looks really cheesy and really bad, but as they said, it's a work in progress. I don't know. Honestly, I think you should just go for, like, a one-to-one -one copy of the GNOME desktop uh, settings app. I mean, trying to make it all fancy isn't going to work for them very well. And as you can see, they have this weird little theming thing going on where everything's straight and flat. Now, a long time ago, people did try to make this functional. It just didn't look right, and it still does not look right even today. But the fact that they're trying so hard is kind of cool. To avoid any more issues with GNOME, I completely understand. GNOME's gone off the deep end in terms of development. They're trying to do their own thing, and they're forgetting that users exist, and users need certain things to survive in a desktop environment. I just don't like it. It just is, it's so strange. I mean, I get what they're trying to do. Um... But, I don't know, it just doesn't work right yet. Interesting. So this is the GNOME one, and this is the Rust-based one. Now, this doesn't look very clean. This does look very clean. So here it's an improvement. Uh, the launcher is a bit smaller, more compact, yes, which makes it look a whole lot cleaner. Um, the app library. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, the new app library is pretty cool. Causing a lot of built using... Whoa. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Which one's which? This has got to be the GNOME one. And this has to be the Rust-based version. And I like the Rust-based version better. It looks cleaner. It looks more modern. Um... Yeah, 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 yeah. Expect bugs where possible. The dock. Oh, the dock looks beautiful. Wow. I mean, it looks pretty much identical, but it just looks better for some reason. And I'm glad they're keeping the dock. I honestly am. I am a huge fan of docks. You guys know this. You guys have known this forever. And draw, it's only possible to drop icons, non favorite applications don't show up in the dock. The dock is not expandable to the sides yet, so it cannot become a panel. And it is not possible to rearrange the dock icons. So it's definitely still a complete work in progress. But 
I mean, uh, they'll get there. And I'm very excited and looking forward to trying it. And uh, when it is available in beta for testing, like fully out there, I will be installing Pop! OS on the laptop that I'm getting so we can have a full over a uh, complete experience with it because I really want to see how light they can get this new desktop environment compared to GNOME. Because that's the thing. People want a light, fast, modern desktop environment. Anyway, that's it. That's all they wrote. That, that's all she wrote. I mean, so far the progress has been really good. Anyway, tell me what your thoughts and opinions are in the comment section, of course. I want some talk about this because this is, you know, a new desktop environment. This is this is big, okay? It may not seem big to some of you, but this is pretty big. This is a major Linux developer turning their back on GNOME and making something that fits their needs instead of relying on developers that just don't care anymore. I love this. They're becoming their own distro. It is just, it's something I've always wanted for them because Pop! OS has been so much better than Ubuntu for so long now, and now they get to come out ahead of their own, they get to be recognized better, and honestly, I'm impressed. So... If you guys are ever looking for a beginner's distro, avoid Manjaro, 100%. Avoid Linux Mint. It's slow, it's dated, it's just crappy. Avoid Ubuntu and go Pop! OS. Okay? Can't keep it more simple than that. Wow. I, I can't wait to see where this goes. Simple as that. Don't forget to like the video, share the video, subscribe, do all that funky stuff. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.